it's me, Jen, your Pudgy Picker. Got another Monday thrift haul for you. These are the items that I picked up on Monday. You saw the uh, walkthrough or the shop with me video, and you might have seen these items. So uh, I only film at one store, so one of these days I'll do the, the second store. But uh, so some of the stuff you've seen and some you have not. I only spent probably $45 today. Um, didn't get as much as I normally do, but of course it's hit and miss. So let's jump right in. I'll show you the goodies that I got. Um, I got this very adorable uh, birdhouse. It needs to be fixed up a little bit there. I'm not sure if that's paint. And then it also might have had something attached to the side. I'm going to kind of scratch that off, but it's very cool looking, very heavy. It was $3.50. Got this painting of a lighthouse on a piece of slate and it says something harbor lighthouse chicago and it was only two so that was pretty cool got this frame it's kind of a metal kind of almost looks like a tortoise shell or a snake uh, skin that was only two dollars I got two purses, but they're not really purses. This one is a sack root. It's a tote. It's that uh, plastic coated canvas, and it was only three fifty. Tempted to keep that, but I don't need it. So that will go uh, on eBay. And then this one I had to look up because I've never heard of the brand, but it looked kind of cool. It is a Kayond, um, and it says the best for you. So this is. Um, a little, I guess, a makeup case or a pencil case, and then it came with this larger one, and this is to carry uh, laptops in. Um, so everything is really thick and padded, and then as you can tell, the bottom here is uh, is padded. Where is it? Yeah. So you know, if you set it down, it won't bump too hard. But very cool looking bag. Um, very good shape. Um, very clean, and for this two-piece, it was only three fifty. So I will do my research again, but I was looking at twenty-five to thirty, uh, depending on uh, the condition. And of course, uh, a couple that I looked up didn't have this extra bag with it, so not too bad. Oh, I forgot to say, probably six to seven on this frame, probably ten on the slate tile. And then probably, I'd say, 10 to 12 on the birdhouse. These, of course, are per looking them up. I got two of these. Um, usually when I see these, they are really beat up or they are filthy. Um, so I got these two. They were only a dollar a piece. And I have some fabric upstairs that needs to be put in these. And then uh, take it out as I go. I can always use storage stuff. So that was an easy pickup. I got this very cute snowman cookie jar. He was $5.99. Turn him around. I think it says cookies. Yeah, so that was kind of a cute pickup. So that will go out to my booth right away. I uh, got this welcome sign. It is still new with the tags. I don't know if you have uh, Big Lots stores in your area, but that's where this is from. Uh, originally fourteen dollars, and then it was marked five ninety nine. Then half it was three. Very cute. It's got this galvanized metal welcome and then a leaf on it. So of course we'll put that away for next year. I did get four tops. Uh, two of them I'm thinking about keeping. One for sure. One I'm not really sure. I'll have to try it. But uh, this one's really cool. I think this is a Romans, which is a catalog company. And it has uh, this on it. It's not really a t-shirt. It's kind of knit, but it's got a really cool design on it. This one is a uh, 1X 2224, and it was three, so I'm going to sell that. Uh, this one was two and a quarter, and it is um, Avenue 2628, so that I will sell. This one is kind of big, but I'm going to use it as a workout top. So it was $3.50. It is a Denim 24-7, denim which is an Avenue brand. It's just a basic 
t-shirt. And then this one I'm not sure. I'm trying to make out. It almost looks like green stripes on there, but I don't know. I guess it does look kind of green. But either way, it is a woman within. It is a 1X. This one, I'm going to see how it fits. It was $3. It has like a hanky hem. But if it's green, I don't know how interested I'm going to be in it. It does look green. I don't know. When you get something that's black or navy blue, <laughs> sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I did get these cute little trees. Um, and they were only a dollar a piece. They're in a little uh, terracotta pot. Very adorable. Um, probably take those out now. Um, I got a cat mask, which is very cute. Um, it was only a dollar fifty. So that will go out to my booth for probably, I would say, twelve dollars. Um, these cute little trees will probably be six dollars a piece. Uh, the cookie jar will probably do 12, and the welcome sign will probably be, I would say, 10 when it comes time to take that out. I got two pieces of fabric. This one I didn't realize that it's a flannel, which isn't a bad thing, but uh, not everybody wants a flannel. But new cut, very cute, only a dollar. Uh, and then this one is uh, was only a dollar as well, but it's almost like a real fine burlap. And it has uh, writing on the edge as to where it was made. And I think it might be older. So, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know. I'll have to look. But I'm going to look that up. And if it's nothing special, it'll go out to my booth. Um, I did get a bag of shells. I do have a lot of shells, but these ones are very unique looking and go nice in an arrangement. And that was only a buck fifty for a whole bag of them. And then these items were in a bag as well for $1.50. And it is a bar of gardenia soap, Addison and Gates. And then a little hand soap that would be nice for my purse. And I always like the smelly soap, so I'll probably use that in my bathroom. I have the pump soap in my bathroom as well as a bar of soap, because sometimes you just want a bar of soap. And it's cheaper, and it lasts longer. <laughs> But other than that, oh, 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 yeah, see, I always end up forgetting something. I got these two uh, carved statues. I thought this was so awesome. Uh, a husband and wife or a man and woman smooching. And it was only two, and it is hand-carved in Ghana. So that will be, uh, I'll use my uh, wood restorer just to wipe that down. That will go out to my booth for probably 12 to 14. And then this, uh, I don't know, heron, stork, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was only two fifty, and it doesn't have where it was made, but that will go out in my booth for probably I would say twelve. And the only issue I see with him, let's see, is he it looks like he lost the tip or chipped or something. So I will take a little bit of varnish and just finish that off so it looks nice, and nobody will know the difference. So I believe that is all that I have. Um, I hope you are enjoying the ride-alongs. They're a lot of fun to do. Um, uh, so I don't know. I see you. I do these videos at the same day, of course. I film when I'm in there, and then when I get home with my what I bought, I lay it out, and then I do a video. So I'm not sure. The music seemed very loud this time, so I may or may not have had to do some voice over on it so i know you're everybody always wants me to do that uh, there's just not enough hours in the day to run my business and uh, youtube channel as well so i'll see what i can do but uh, very happy with what i picked up this week not a lot being selective is always good and stuff i can always use i am almost done organizing my basement with all of my eBay as well as my booth uh, merchandise. So I will be doing a uh, tour down there as well very, very soon. Ugh, I'm just, it's been literally weeks of just going down there for an hour at a time here and there or a couple of hours at a time. And it was quite a mess. And then I'm going to have my daughter is going to come over and help me uh, go through my inventory and make sure uh, everything is where it should be. So 
that will be fun as well. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, I am always open to hear them. If you want to contact me by email, I haven't mentioned this in a while, you can contact me, jen at pudgypicker.com. And you can also follow me on, on Instagram as well as Twitter under The Pudgy Picker. That is it. That is all. I will see you next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.